Hello again. This is Claudia Cutter with the We2School program. Thank you for being here again with me. I hope you're excited to continue learning more about the implementation of your own weed garden space and use it as an educational tool. Please visit the, the website weed2school.com for more resources and information. Let's start with our module two, weed planting preparation. <clears throat> Before you start with the presentation, please make sure you watch this video to learn more about the information and resources provided here to you. Before we start the, with the module two, please think about the growing space you have available, outdoors and indoors, and think about the answer to this question. Where do you think you could grow a plant? With this module, you will learn to identify at least one space where to grow wheat, describe four things to consider before planting wheat, develop a wheat to school roadmap for your school, list at least three materials you need to grow wheat, identify people to support you in growing your wheat garden. There are four important things to consider before planting your wheat space, like timing, materials, people who can help you and be part of this project, and yes, of course, your growing garden space. The time of the year you grow your wheat is very important, especially if you want to grow a bigger garden plot. For example, in California, Wheat can be grown year round because of our mild winters. However, for California, we suggest you plant the wheat in early October. That way it grows during the winter and school year and you harvest it in late May or early June, just before school ends. Now, if you are in an area of, of true winters, then you will still plant winter wheat that goes dormant during the winter and it sprouts in the spring. However, you might not have the wheat ready to be harvested until the summer, but that is okay if you have summer school. And of course, if you do not have the space to grow wheat in a garden, you can always use a small garden pots or even cups to sprout the wheat and grow it inside the classroom. Growing wheat is actually very simple and it does not require a lot of materials especially if you just grow it inside the classroom with pots or cups. But in general, there are very specific materials you would need, such as soil, grain seeds, pots or cups, or a space, water, and some fertilizer. Since we started our week to school program, we put together a list of materials, equipment, and tools that you can click and find here in this Google document. Another very important part of growing your wheat space besides timing materials is the people supporting your project. There are many people who might be interested in helping you if you only ask. For example, reach out to your local FFA or 4-H programs. Look for local nonprofit organizations that might be interested in supporting your school garden program. Your local university and extension programs that might even know farmers willing to volunteer at your school. For example, Farmer Larry here in California is retired and he, he goes with me to every school garden to help them start growing wheat. His knowledge is extremely helpful while training the school staff about growing wheat successfully. I think one of the hardest decisions is where you can grow or would like to grow your wheat. I always say, start small. If you just want it to be part of a small experiment, great. Just start with small cups or pots inside your classroom. Then if you have some space available, move it into a garden bed. And then if you have a bigger space, create your wheat garden plot small or large. 
Here are some small tips about growing wheat in pots or cups. As I say, growing wheat in small cups inside the classroom is very easy. Watch this video to learn from this educator about the simple steps you can take to make this work for you and your students. After you finish watching this, please move into the next slide to learn about other ways you can grow your wheat. Growing wheat in a garden box is another great option. This is especially a good option if your garden space is limited. You can actually grow a few varieties inside the same box. Here's a photo of one of our schools in San Luis Obispo County that had limited space and decided to use a few garden boxes to grow different wheat types. This one is actually a brand new idea, rooftop. I recently received a call from a school in San Francisco that has limited space, but they have set up this garden on the rooftop. So now we have an example of growing weed in garden beds on rooftops. Here's a link to an example of a school program in Chicago also growing grains on this urban rooftop garden. Pretty cool. Garden plots or fields. Growing weed in a garden plot or field is one of the most common ways our school in California grows their wheat. This picture here is of the school wheat plot in Dingo Elementary that has been growing wheat right there since 2018. So if you have some garden space, I highly recommend growing wheat in small plots. You will learn more about this in, in a different module. This is our wheat to school roadmap. This roadmap includes important parts or stages for planning your weed growing project. And each stage has a list for things to do, materials, tools needed, and other resources. I encourage you to download this information and spend some time reviewing the different information provided in this roadmap to learn more details about the type of things you can use in your school weed garden. I also provide here to you a Week to School Roadmap template that you're welcome to download, make a copy, or you can use and edit it here to add your own list of things to do, materials and resources. I highly encourage you to start working on this document to help you prepare for growing your own wheat. Finally, please start planning for your wheat growing project, identifying the timeline that works for you and your location, Listing, listing and gathering the materials, tools, and equipment you will need. Reach out to people and organizations that can help you and support you planning and implementing this program. And finally, identify your most feasible space you can use to grow your wheat. In the next module, Module 3, I will walk you through specific information and examples on how to grow your wheat. Congratulations, you have completed module two. Please take two to five minutes to complete the evaluation form by clicking the link in this slide. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in module three.